we just be throwing out a story time. It's just some of the times we just been flat out drunk college, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. College is crazy. Sometimes you can have a little bit too much. And so um, we're just going to talk about our drunk nights. Um, we went to a few parties that night, but I really don't remember much, to be honest. But um, I remember in the beginning of the night, I started off drinking dark liquor. I had some of that, and then I don't know why, but I just thought it would be interesting to try beer because I've never tried beer. Let me try it. If you know about alcohol, you know you should mix drinks. No. So that's already a bad start. So I tried the beer. I didn't like it, but I drank it. Why did I drink it? There was some stuff going down, so I don't know why. I just I just did it. Anyways, <laughs> I drank the beer, and then on top of drinking the beer, I found some Ciroc, which is just vodka, and I drank that too. Now I just mixed three different. Stuff, three different alcohol substances, which is so bad you cannot do that. You don't miss dark and light liquor. You don't miss beer with anything like. So basically, I was already dead. Like as soon as I finished drinking the vodka, basically. So that night was just a crazy. It was a hot, a hot mess. I barely remember flashes of what happened that day. I remember I threw up probably like three times and like. Did you throw up somebody's car? Three different cars. Oh, I threw up in one car in somebody's car. Anyway, I didn't wasn't trying to throw up. I just happened just to be where I was in my mental, and I just drank all this stuff. No one would do that. I don't know why I did it, but I drank it all, and I just it was horrible. And I don't. I heard that night was fun, but I don't remember it. It so, was fun. I wish I had some pictures like on Snapchat or something. But um, yeah, as soon as I saw her, I knew she was sick. I was like, oh yeah, like something like she don't look right. Like she's sick, you know. Especially as she's throwing up and she you know the car, and then she threw up on, in the floor in the house and. It was a lot going on, but um, we took her into a friend's house, and she chilled there for a second. She laid down. She was cool. But then I wasn't going to let that ruin my night. So we came. We was like, you okay, Indy? She was like, yeah, I'm okay. Like, go ahead. So she, you know, she was just, like, chilling on the couch, whatever. And, like, we went to, like, the another party that same day. So it had been, like, maybe, like, the fifth party that day. It was like, man. And I remember we had, like, five Ciroc bottles, like, the big Ciroc bottles. Yep. And um, they were all empty because they had been, you know, everyone had, had drank them already. So it was like five big bottles. And so we literally filled them up with water, like literally water. So it was the faucet, like filled them up with water, right? And so it was me. Oh, at first it was Indy, but she was sick. So it was me, my friend Kyla, my friend Bria. Was there anybody else, too? I mean, that's who we went with, like the ladies. There was, there was a couple other guys, but I'm not going to include them in the story. So we filled up our bottles. With the rock, the water, and we like literally went into the next party like this. We was like, "What's up?" And we came in like that, and everybody was like, "Okay, look at y'all." We was like, "Yeah," and so it was so funny because, um, you know, people was like, you know, like let me get a shot. Was like, okay, cool. And so they was like literally just chugging. They were like chugging, chugging, and they was like, <laughs> it was so funny. That was one of the, the funnest nights I had. Um, it was so funny, whatever. So, um, the time that I got drunk. I didn't really start getting drunk after because I wouldn't, I would, I didn't, I'd never mix my liquor or whatever. But I think it's, there's times, many times I've gone drunk without mixing my liquor. The majority of times I've gone drunk were not because the, the liquors were mixed. Like the, the first one I really got drunk was off E and J. Man, you weren't bad drunk. You were just no, boozy. You were just cuddly walk. But the second time, I don't know, so many stories. I gotta fit, find them. The second time I got like drunk. No, I don't remember. Okay, so I, you know what's crazy though? The, I've only been like crazy drunk twice. And the first time it was off of tequila. Oh, oh my gosh, like, ugh. Every time I think about that, I just. So, um. It was 
we had entered there with a bottle of tequila and we each, you know, taking shots. And my thing is, me and my sister, we're like, we're heavyweights. We're not lightweights at all. Like, we can drink a lot and we'd be fine and, you know, be like basically sober. It's weird. Heavyweights. So we like drink a lot. And we were just all talking, having, you know, just chatting it up. And by the time we looked down, the bottle of tequila was gone between like five people. Gone. And so we were like, oh, damn. You know, tequila, you know, a little goes a long way. You know, it's tequila. The devil's drink. It is. It's crazy. So I remember that night. You know, I do remember most of that night, actually. So it's kind of like we like left or whatever. We were like, oh, thank you for tequila. We left. And then, like, going back to our place, because we were supposed to go to a party that night, but we never did, because we were just way too drunk to even go anywhere. So we headed back to our place so we could go to one of our friends' place that lived in an off-campus apartment. So we were like, oh, let's go to her place to see what they're doing. I know, are they going to go out? And so we went to their place. I don't even remember, like, riding there, but we, I just remember, I was like, oh, we're riding there, but we got there. <laughs> and then, um, and which is a whole bunch of them chilling at the house. They weren't really going to go out because, you know, no one really knew what was going on. So I just remember I, I fell in the closet. <laughs> and um, I just remember that night being just like basically a shit show. Mm-hmm. And I got up and my friend had some guys come into town to um, like hang with her and stuff. And I remember I met them, but I don't remember meeting them. I remember anything. So it was just kind of like a blur. But the next morning I was like, oh, tell your friend sorry that I couldn't meet them in the right state of mind. But that was... Whew, tequila, y'all, tequila. If y'all gonna drink tequila, maybe one shot, two shots, especially if you're new at it. Because that stuff will kill, like, literally, like, mess you up. So, after yeah. that, do you remember, do you have anything to contribute to that? The tequila story? Yeah. Um, it, like, we were both, like, little, like, really We were both age. drunk, but, like, at that point, I've already been drunk, like, a couple times. So, when I already, like, like, I got... Badly drunk. Yeah, badly drunk. So, when I was there, I didn't throw up or anything. Like, my body somehow managed to, like, hold it. Or something I don't know, but I, I was drunk. I just didn't throw up, and uh, on my heels, I wore my like big heels. They were like six inches, and I didn't fall, thank God. But I do remember we kind of like I remember um, we were like in a dorm at, in the dorm at the time in college, and I remember um, the girl who lived ne- who lived next door to me was like, "Oh my gosh, do you remember seeing me yesterday? This is the next day." And I was like, "No, like I saw you. What happened?" She was like, "Oh my gosh," she was like, "You were so drunk." She was like. You went to the bathroom, I guess, like, one of her guy friends were in the, the, the girl's bathroom. She was like, yeah, my friend was in the bathroom, and he's a guy. And you were like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh, I said that? She was like, yeah. You were like, what are you doing in here? And she was like, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And I was like, I did not remember saying that. Like, that's crazy that she told me. that. I was like, oh, my gosh, girl, you were drunk. Oh, all the dang. Woo. Yeah. And then remember, she seemed like, mean, and you were like, we're off to see the world. <laughs> yeah, we're off to see the town or something like that. <laughs> right. I was like, what? We, we said that? I don't remember any of this. And I was like, damn, like, it looked that bad. Okay. It's funny because I actually do remember talking to the guy. I remember how he looked. So I was like, oh, sh-. I do remember that. Like, he, yeah. Crazy, right? Yeah. Woo! Okay. I wish I could, like, add some, some pictures in our Hollywood. But another time I could say was, um, this was, like, literally, like, my, my last time, like, really being drunk. I mean, at the party. The, mm-hmm. Yeah. So there was this party, um, that we went to, and it was at a club, and, you know, we had the, the hookup because we knew the people throwing the party, so. thing is we couldn't bring bottles into the club so I literally took like a cup right this is you know the red cup right and I literally poured all the way up to here you know I'm heavyweight so I was like I'm gonna drink and I honestly I didn't want to be sober because I wanted to have a good you know I, I can have a good time sober but I did want to be I wanted to be like a little tipsy I didn't you know want to be drunk drunk but I wanted to be gone so I filled my whole cup up and we could bring cups inside so I left the bottle outside brought the cup in I literally drank the whole cup, not really. No, we couldn't bring the cups inside. We left it outside. Oh, we thought that we could bring the cups inside, but we couldn't. So what basically what I did was like basically tried to down the whole cup, right? Down the whole cup basically it was only like a little bit left, like where the line is, like a little bit left. I was like, okay, so I come in like, okay, that's going on. As soon as I like walk in all the way, I was like, like 
damn, like, okay, this is what I wanted, I guess. And so, like, later on, when the party kind of just started, I was gone. I couldn't see anything. It was a blur. It was blurry. Like, I literally, I was asking my sister, like, are you drunk? And she's like, yeah, I can feel it, but I'm not, like, drunk. So, like, she literally had to beat my eyes to that party. I couldn't see anything. But I cannot see. I'm legally blind. And I would, like, always ask her, like, who's here? Who do you see? What's going on? Because I literally couldn't see anything. And it was, it was crazy. Because now I wish I kind of enjoyed that night, like, by seeing. Because I couldn't see anything. And I'd rather enjoy by, like, actually seeing and not being blurry. But, yeah, that was, that was crazy. It's, it's just really crazy. But. That's just a couple stories. It's not a, not a lot, but that's just a couple that we have that we wanted to share with you guys. Mm -hmm. Being drunk is not the funnest. Like, it really isn't, like, especially like, being dead to the point where you're, like, you make it look cute in the movies, but it's not cute. It's, it's not fun. fun. And the morning no. when you wake up, I remember, I remember t telling myself, oh, my gosh, just die. I remember saying that. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't take this. Like, you, oh, my gosh, I must have... I think it was so bad to the point where I almost needed to go to the hospital. I mean, it didn't get there, but it almost was there. I was like, oh, I can't do this. Like, this is not for me. Like, I'll leave it with some guns and I'll probably be even better. Anyway, um, I was fine with that. So I'm like, I can't be getting drunk like that. I'll drink. I have a little shot or two, but I'm not about to be drinking down in bottles anymore. <laughs> Everybody